Hey everyone, C Stan here with the Lord of the Rings The Living Card Game. Uh, today I've got uh, a full fellowship here, uh, four decks, and we are going to be tackling uh, the Black Gate. So we're going to see how many rounds a coordinated set of decks can last against the unwinnable scenario. Um, I had a number of uh, thoughts going into this as to, as to how to build the decks. Um, initially, I had two mono lore decks, and I had uh, two mono leadership decks, and the idea was to that the you'd draw lots of cards and get lots of resources, and you would stay alive by playing Doom Hang Still over and over again, which is this uh, five cost leadership event uh, that makes you basically you don't have to quest anyone um, and uh, you can you, you don't have to raise your threat when you fail uh, the quest so you keep your threat low for a long time and and survive that way and I think that would work but I've got a different idea uh, now with this deck and I'm hoping that I remember to include all the cards that I need so there's a bunch of smaller combos that are going to be coming together um, to hopefully last uh, my goal is to last 10, ten rounds uh, against the black gate so um, yeah uh, I've taken control I think uh, so playing four ducks at once is going to be tricky um, I think I have control of all the heroes now and I can see all the decks okay um, all right, so let me load up the quest. Uh, my gate. My gate opens. Okay, so in the black gate, we got to add the black gate and the mouth of sound to the staging area. Set Gwei here aside, out of play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, done. Uh, so the black gate, it's immune to player card effects, and uh, the players cannot travel here. After, uh, the black gate gets plus one threat for each resource token on it, forced at the beginning of the quest phase. Uh, player one... Uh, oh, place one resource here and raise each player's threat by one. So it keeps getting more threatening uh, as time goes on. Um, and of course we have the Mouth of Sauron here. Uh, you can't engage him as he's immune to player card effects. And then uh, after a player cancels a one revealed event effect, uh, he, he makes an immediate attack against that player. So. I didn't include any test of wills in the decks because I didn't want to deal with that. Okay, so let's go on to uh, stage uh, 1B. Where to go here? Uh, okay. Dire. Dire means that we can only reduce our threat by one uh, every turn. Um, so you'll see I do have Galadrim's Greeting here, but this is only going to reduce each player's threat by one rather than two. However, I think threat reduction is going to be an important part of this uh, lasting a long time. Um, thanks, COTR Podcast. I take it that's Chad. Um, yeah, one of the hardest quests in the game for sure. Uh, and yes, we have three Hobbit heroes. Actually, we've got a... <laughs> Definitely an interesting team of heroes here. You might um, be wondering what's going on, but yeah, we got uh, Thurindir, uh, who should actually um, add a side quest to his hand at this point. So let me do this here. Okay, so Thurindir. Um, right. So. That's deck number three, and let's see what we've got to look at here. Uh, 
let's put gather information in hand. Okay, and we'll shuffle that up. Hey, Brewer Bear. Thanks for watching. Okay. Alright. So, in player order, each player places the top card of his deck face up in front of him until there are a total of four face up cards between the players. Place the top four cards of the encounter deck face up. Okay, let me work through this line by line. So, um, okay, basically each player is going to play the top card of their deck face up. So, there, okay, uh, deck number two, there, deck three, there, and deck four is there. Okay. Um, place the top four cards in the counter deck face up, starting with the highest cost player card. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four. Whoa, lots of enemies here. Um, pair each player card with the highest threat encounter card remaining until there are four pairs. Okay. So we've got cost two here, pairs with the threat four, uh, cost one here and here, and cost zero there. Then for each pair, the first player must choose, either discard both cards in that pair or reveal the encounter card to play the player card at no cost. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I don't want to do that to a questing character he controls. Deals one. Actually, that does nothing because we have no questing characters. So, do I want to do that? Each player deals one damage. I get to put this into play for no cost, but there's no real reason for me to use that right now, is there? Okay, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I guess I could pass resourceful to that player. No, but that wouldn't work. Okay, um, definitely not going to do that. Um, actually, no, this is until the end of the phase. Enemies don't make engagement checks, so there's no point in playing that. Uh, obviously, no. Um, the free Amphilas Herdsman in exchange for an Orc of Mordor. Actually, I will take that deal. So, we'll reveal him. Or do we have to reveal him? Or. Oh, we have to reveal that. So, it would surge. Yeah. Do we want to surge right now? No. Okay, so we'll just discard everything. So that was basically it. Uh, nothing happened f from that. We go on to stage two. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a different orc, troll, or Nazgul enemy and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle Gwei here into the encounter deck. Okay. Um, so we'll pull this guy out and he counts, right? He's an orc. Yep. Another orc. And another orc. Who else do we want? Maybe this thing. One revealed. Yeah. Let's bring that thing out. Okay. Shuffle Gwai here into the encounter deck. Oops. Should have the wrong, different backing. That's okay. Now, do we finally get to start the game? Uh, I think so. Let's flip this over. Okay. During the staging step, the first player does not reveal an encounter card as normal. Instead, he reveals one encounter card for each resource token on the black gate. Okay. Uh, after the player's quest unsuccessfully describe the active location. Uh, this stage cannot be defeated. Each round the players survive gives the ring bearer more time to fulfill the quest to Mount Doom. Okay, so we want to last as long as we can. Okay. Alright, so we can start the first turn 
now, I guess. Okay. And now when I do this, because of the way I set up Octagon, the other players won't draw cards automatically, so we got to draw manually for them. Okay. So now we start doing the deep knowledge spam. Okay. So I'm just going to keep track of how many deep knowledges get played. We're going to play one. Uh, he's going to play one. Uh, got nothing there. Uh, he's going to play two. Okay, so each player will draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, sorry, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he draws eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we can play down some more. Okay, so there's uh there's one more. Uh we got two more. And nothing. Okay, we got one more here. So three more, so six more for each player. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is a lot of cards. Did we get any more deep knowledges? though. Um, nope. Oh, we did. So that's two more for everyone. And what else we got? Uh, no. Nope. So just two more. One, two. One, two. One, two. And... Okay, I think that's about it for the deep knowledges. However, let's play Legacies down. Um, how many do you think we need, though? I think let's just start with one. So let's add a resource to every hero. And I will also play... Captain's Wisdom here, since we're still in the resource phase. And I want to get lots of resources there. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, do we want to end the resource phase? I think we go into the planning phase now. Uh, we can't play more Captain's Wisdom. Because we can't play Cram, unfortunately. That's the way that works. Okay, but let's raise people's threats. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. Everyone goes up 20. 47, 47, 46, and 41. Okay, we can get rid of all this. Okay. Um, all right, let's take a look here. Uh, so what we want uh, is we want to get a lot of willpower out on the table. Um, to do that, we are going to need Ether Swordsman. Um, 
let's play some Mithrandir's advice for one. Draw three. Okay. So let's play down Protector of Lorien as well for one. Um, and okay, that's good. Let's play Dayron's Runes for two cards and get rid of something we don't need. <laughs> um, what do we not need right now? I guess we don't need a good meal at the moment. Okay. All right. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. Now, the goal here just to give you a bit of a preview, is going to be, uh, so now that we have Protector of Lorien down, we can discard cards from hand. We're going to discard Aether Swordsman, and we are going to then play, uh, where is it? Ah, Message from Elrond to pass a stand and fight to this player. And then that player will play the stand and fight and pull out the Aether Swordsman. And um, so a message from Elrond says, at the end of the round, if the chosen card is in that player's hand or in play, shuffle it into its owner's deck. So you have to give stand and fight back. However, you do not need to give the Aether Swordsman back. So this is a way of permanently shuttling all the outlands to one player. So it's kind of kind of tricky, yeah. Um, Message from Elrond shows up in uh, the hardest quest in the uh, the saga. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Okay, um, but we can wait until the quest phase to do that. So I just want to group all those cards over there on one side. Um, okay, we can play down a good meal, and I guess we can play down resourceful. Uh, well, we can play down Scout Ahead, of course, and I like the idea of getting resourcefuls ready to go, um, For because this is going to be several rounds that we're doing this. However, I also want to get, uh, okay, we got songs, we want a couple songs over here. Do we, we have a few? Okay. So I am going to play my resourceful on Elrond. And that'll cost four. Okay. And you know, there's more events I could be playing here, but like the Aaron's Runes. But um, yeah, if I spent the time to make this an optimal play, this would take forever. So I'm just going to play it as I as I see it. And, okay. Okay, we've got a message from Elrond. Uh, we got our ethers over here. And another one. Stand and fight. Good. Um, another stand and fight. We do have a protector here, so we will put it down on... I don't really know if it matters. Someone who's going to quest, I guess, just for the willpower. Oh, I guess uh, this deck should have one addition. This last deck should have one additional card from Bilbo. Forgot about that. Cool. Um, okay, so we have to pay for this, of course. And that's done. Uh, play down a good meal. Okay. Uh, good, good, good. And then over here... Well, do we want a resourceful? Do we have resourceful? We do not. Um, hmm. Deck two. What should we do? 
Ah, uh, yes, we have to play down this to give Pippin spirit, and uh, I suppose we could be drawing here. Two, four, six, eight at the moment. One, two, three, four. Okay. At the moment, this deck just can't play that many Outlands allies. Um, of course, I could play another Legacy of Numenor. <laughs> Steinwell, yeah, you just you wait, just you wait. It's gonna get even crazier. Um, oh, I guess I could put uh, one on him as well and play another Outlands. Hmm. So I want to give all these heroes spirit so that they can all all use their pools to play um, the uh, the outlands but I'm thinking about whether or not I have enough to do that I think I do I think I have enough song of travel um, let's see there's one more here okay let's organize this one so we got our messages from Elrond's and our oh we don't have we have some stand and fights oh yeah we got an ether but does this deck have its protector of Lorien yet does not appear to um, can we draw some cards maybe um, we would really like to draw into that let's well, Dayron's Draw, draw. Oops, wrong deck. Uh, the hotkeys should not be used for that. Two cards. And then we got to discard one. And uh, let's put this out. It's not unique, right? Yeah, good. Um, okay, we will trash a... Oh, we do have Mithrandir's advice. Good, 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 good. Um, what are we trashing here? Good harvest? No. Advanced warning. We need that. We need all this stuff. Play that down. Uh, okay, I guess, yeah. I guess that makes sense. We'll trash the... Um, Elven Light. Okay, now let's play Mithrandir's Advice here. Uh, draw, draw, draw. Okay, no Protector of Lorien yet. But we did get another Aether. And... Okay, we got three Aethers. So this, this deck really just needs to pull together some um, resources, and it can really start playing down Aether Swordsman. Okay. Um, I'm just uh, a bit reluctant to play that second legacy of uh, Numenor um, because you can't really reduce your threat much in this game. So, um, I'm, yeah, just uh, a bit wary of raising my threat. Okay. Anyway, uh, can we draw any more? Okay, this deck can draw two more. Draw and draw. Okay, it's got some more here. Ether. Good, good, good. Okay. Can draw more. Now, hmm. let's see, we got, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there, but we're going to reveal four more. 
So do you think having one, two, three, four ether swordsmen is going to be enough? I'm not sure. Um, but it should be. So we'll do just do that for now. Okay, so let's go into the third deck and One, two, three. We can only pass three, and this guy hasn't drawn into any of his own yet. This guy should have Ether Swordsman in the deck. Hmm. Oh, and getting out an Anflas Herdsman is going to be crucial as well. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's go back to this deck. Um, now I can pass resources using Kina's Lances. Could pay five here to give two to this deck. That might be worth it. Yeah. Um. Okay, you know what, let's play down one more Mithrandir's advice. Draw three. Oops. Just see what we can get into. One, two, three, and then, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my second one on this deck. That way, uh... That deck can now discard his ethers. Okay, so that works out. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm going to need to buff this deck up a bit um, with a little more resources. So my third deck, maybe not the best move, but I am going to play Kina's Lances for five and add two resources here. And we will also Barivore to make this deck draw two. And it will play Daron's Runes to draw two more. Okay. Um... All right. Still no ethers of his own here. Um, but what can we do about that? Yep. First first planning phase are always the longest, aren't they? Um okay. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but I will put down Steward for two. Pippin is now the Steward of Gondor. And we will get out some Aether Swordsmen here and some Anflas Herdsmen. Um, okay, my one worry is right now this guy if he if he makes an attack against us I know there's treacheries in there that can do that who will defend it um, I would have Urkenbrand do that but let's see three if he needs to cancel the shadow effect he will not be able to okay you know what I think it's just gonna be safer if I do this so I'm gonna play another legacy and raise everyone's threat up. Um, wait, shouldn't everyone be... What happened here? This should be 47, right? We did... Okay, 47. One, oh, 47. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. 47. 1, 2, 3, 4. 50. wonder why the threat didn't work before. This one worked. Um, 
one, two, three, four. Okay. So now we have a little bit more room to work with here. Uh, it does eat a lot of our threat, but now I can put down this on Urkenbrand, and he can defend a six attack and cancel a shadow and not die. And um, we're just going to, uh, obviously uh, nothing's changed. I'm just going to have this deck play down a healer. Do I even want to do that? Um, no, let's, let's just go with what happened because I could be forced to discard my highest cost ally. Uh, okay. Now. Now there's no way to get me to draw more. Is there? Okay. So we will just play down an Ether Swordsman. I have 11 left. Uh, we will play down a second at 10 left. So we can still play five Ether Swordsmen. Yeah, okay. That should be good. We'll put Cram down on Glorfindel. I'm not exactly sure why I put Cram in the deck. Um, I think it's because I like mixed up how Captain's Wisdom would work. Um, Cram is probably not super important to be here. However, I can put another one on him just in case he needs to defend again. And... I'm a bit nervous, like, if he attacks me twice, then I'm in trouble. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go into the quest phase. Let's see how the first quest go phase goes. We will um, commit lots of people to the quest here. Well, first let's Denethor, and just see if we can avoid one nasty card. Nazgul of Mordor. Not actually that bad. So uh, we will leave him there. Okay. Uh, I, I'm just trying to avoid treacheries at this point. Okay. We will commit one. Uh, before committing characters, this deck needs to pull together. Um, so we will uh, we will discard. So deck number one here will discard the Ether Swordsman and pass over the Stand and Fight, and then this player will pull in for two an Ether Swordsman. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, the other deck here is going to discard all three. Two, three. Um, well, just two for now, because that's all I can pass, I guess. Oh, no, I'll do all three. One, two, three, and I shall pass message, message, stand, stand, over here. And we will spend one, two, three, four, uh, five, six on my own stand and fight to pull all three of those in. Cool. And then deck number three can also discard one and then pass over a stand and fight. Spend two more, pull in that Ether Swordsman, and we are in business here. Okay, that is a lot of Ether Swordsmen. Um, they're all granting plus five. So maybe we should just commit them. Um, so each one's at six. So that's 30. Uh, that's 40. 40 committed to the quest. And uh, should we even commit anyone else? I don't think there's a point, right? So we've got 40. And they have. Um, they're going to have one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and we only need to make four four progress if we're going to gather. Uh, should we go to gather or should we go to scout ahead? We should probably scout ahead, right? Yeah, let's scout ahead. Okay, so we're just going to commit uh, those guys, and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Um, is there anyone else we would want to quest with? No, I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, we place one progress token here, and then everyone raises their threat by one. Okay, um, I think I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to say that this is the master threat, and that this is the same as the master threat. This is um, one down from it, and then this is going to be six down. So zero offset, one, six. Um, okay, that way, whenever I raise threat, I'm just going to raise this guy's threat because everyone's going to be raising all the, all the same time. All right, so we have one card, we have two cards. It's a location with two threat. Um, not really going to read it because it just does something when it's active or leaves play. Ah, okay. This is what I was worried about. The Mouth of Sauron makes an immediate attack against you. If this attack destroys a character, raise your threat by four. So for that reason, we have the Urkenbrand guy here. Um, okay, so it is peril against this player, but you can still use sentinels um, against peril cards. So we got that. Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Okay, so that'll be that. Um, and I think, right, uh, that'll deal two damage. There's no point in readying him because he would die if this comes up again. Okay, um, and yeah, so that's done, and that's done. And then card number four is a, another reeking uh, moat. Okay, so they have much less than 40, so we make our four progress, and we get to look at the top eight cards and pull one of them into the victory display. Uh, so we'll just do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's a no-brainer. We're going to get rid of this card. And we sh we can put the rest in any order we want. Um, that's actually very convenient for us, so that we know the next four cards are going to be um, uh, one revealed. Okay, we're going to be are going to be these. Uh, I want to leave that in the deck for now. Maybe location. Okay. It's going to be a lot of threat, but um, that's fine. Okay. So then next qu next time we'll do scout ahead again and get rid of that guy and get rid of both of them. Okay. Um, now, now you might be wondering, how do I do combat? Uh, no, actually, uh, you you can use. Um, I mean, the, the the resolution of the uh, uh, so Finbarfin. Um, the last ruling I looked at, uh, the peril applies to the resolution of the staging. And so once that attack is initiated, um, so uh, once he makes an attack against you, uh, then um, peril only applies for the for the resolution of the the actual one revealed effect, not the following attack. Um, so that's the that's the ruling that I read. So I'm going to go with that. Um, Okay. Um, if he's if he's changed his mind, then um, that's gonna. I'm gonna have to see that another time. Um, okay. Regardless, 
Um, I mean, I guess we could have survived with Faramir here, and we're going to get rid of these very shortly, so the ultimate effect is pretty small. Okay, so how do I handle combat? Um, well, we don't combat at all, is how we do it. So I'm going to play Advance Warning. Um, play only if each hero you control has a printed lower resource icon until the end of the phase. Enemies do not make engagement checks, so they will just not engage us, so we don't have to deal with these 28s or the 34s at all. Um, and I'm going to play that using good meal, so it's free. Okay, so we don't have to engage, we're not going to travel or anything. Um, we can just start the next fa next round because we got no archery either. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, no, Finn, Finn Barf, and I, I know what you're saying. I, um, I can't really play. I can't really uh, go based on. Um, the email he wrote to you, I, mean, I, I need to know whether or not the other rulings that I've read about Peril are newer or, or later than the uh, than the email you got from him. Um, I, I may have read a more recent ruling or an older ruling. Uh, either way, um, I'm just going to play, play based on the uh, most recent ruling that I've read. So. But you can see how the deck would work otherwise. You just have to have someone who can defend the uh, Mouth of Sauron uh, for each player. So uh, as long as you uh, heal them up after the attack, um, which is not too hard, uh, in a couple turns these aren't even going to be in the deck anymore because I'm targeting them with, uh, with my victory display stuff. Okay. All right, so uh, that was the first round, and um, the next rounds pretty much follow um, the same pattern. Um, just making sure that there's nothing I have to do at the end of the round. No, I guess this is in the victory display, and Thurindir gets plus one willpower. I'm not going to be using it much, though. Okay. So let's start a new round, and, oh, shoot, okay, um, the Octagon thinks I lost the game because uh, my threat is, you know, over 50, so that's kind of annoying. Um, I'm just going to subtract 50, so I'm just going to be at 3. And that way, uh, I'm not worried about threading out. Oh, hey, Tegrius. Um, we are abusing um, actually a number of cards. So we're going to be uh, abusing Message from Elrond as actually a big one. And also um, the card I just played, which is uh, Advance Warning. So we just basically stop the enemies from engaging us um, and hopefully survive that way. Okay, um, now increase his threat. Uh, I guess I'm keeping track of threat through here, so let me do this. Let me put these guys at zero so that This uh, this actually works here. Can I start? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them highlighted white for now. And just add a resource to each hero. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. Aragorn should have been there, so now he's here. Okay. Not that it makes a difference. I didn't really build around him to use his resources at all. Uh, okay, so the next step is 
to draw each card for each player here. So you get a card, you get a card, and you get a card. Cool. Okay, now this player is player one, and um, okay. So one thing we have to make sure we do this round is get out, uh, play a copy of Greeting. So I need to maintain my low threat here. So we will play that for th uh, one, and then play Greeting for one, two, three, and then each player reduces threat by one, so I'm just going to represent that by there. So this means this guy's at 52, this guy's at 52, this guy's at 51, and then this guy is at 46. Okay. Two resources there. Uh, right. Okay. Um, I can draw cards, I guess. Bilbo gets me one card. And I would like to focus on, I guess, before I actually play the attachment, I'm just going to have this deck do Captain's Wisdom again. Okay. You know what? I can actually do something else here. Where's player two? Do we have a good meal? No, we don't. Uh, oh, it's already attached. So what I can do is actually just uh, out of the wild right now. Where is it? Oh, I don't have it. Okay, uh, let's Mithrandir's advice here. Draw three. One, two, three. Oh, didn't find it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's play down. Should we get down a healer? I think this deck can handle playing some healers. One or two, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, I would have liked... No, that's fine. Stand fight goes there. Okay, let's move to this deck here. I'm going to play... Actually, believe it or not, I'm going to play Good Harvest to play Great You Bow on Faramir. Yes, that happened. That just happened. And Faramir is, by the way, at uh, plus one, two, three, four, five, six attack. Yeah. You know, this uh, this is a, isn't actually crucial, but uh, to this deck working properly, I just think it's awesome because I'm gonna have so many enemies up there that's, that I'm gonna be able to like take out trolls with Faramir's bow. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, I did I pay for that? I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay. Um. Also, I guess I need to get a Song of Travel down to eventually play these. Okay, um, moving to this deck now. We will hard cast an Aether. And... Hmm. You got anything else here? Yeah, okay. We can have deck three, discard to Protector of Lorien, and pass a stand and fight, which gets played for one, two, to bring that Aether Swordsman in online. My goal was more than 10, and uh, at a certain point, this should speed up a lot. So, uh, 
I guess I got another one in hand here. So I will discard again. And I think I've got, yeah, I've got a standard fight that I can pay to. Good. Um, deck over here is going to come down and... Oh yes, I get an extra resource from Resourceful, which I will play another. One, two, three, four. And we will get a Warden online, too. Good. Okay. Now, this is a relatively um, easy quest phase, so let's just go ahead and do it. Um, we commit, well, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so these are each at 9, so that's 72 um, plus 16 is uh, 88, okay? And then these come in, uh, choose peril, choose a questing character, move it from the quest. Uh, there was no questing character. So we've got slopes that come in, more slopes, and Towers of the Teeth. Uh, this is actually a lot of threat because we've got uh, the number one player with the most allies has, most characters, excuse me, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 13. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Oh, there should be another one. 40, and our threat should go up. So 40 versus 88. We easily progress and complete Scout Ahead. And now we get to look at the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8. Good. And we will remove... Um, this one, and how should we organize the rest? I would like to um, X damage among characters controls where X is the number of resources on Black Gate. Either raise your threat by one for each character you control or discard the highest cost ally you control. Um, that one I think I'd like to get rid of, so I'm going to put it up here and possibly just play out of the wild next turn on it? Or would I prefer to have... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll put it down. So I'll do one... I'll do these four. One, two, three, four. And then... Um, so that's the, that'll be the next... Oh, uh, sorry. We actually had to reveal an additional card. I forgot from Black Gate. Um... Uh, let let me see which uh, Baron. Let me see this card. Uh, was it a card that I discarded here? Each player must choose discard the highest cost ally. Uh, what was the treachery that? You have to remove someone from the quest. Did I did I lose it somewhere? Uh, am I? Where is it? Oh, it's an enemy, right? Isn't it an enemy? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a yeah, it's a peril card, so it only applies that to that player. Okay. So actually, um, I forgot I was supposed to reveal an additional card. Um, so let's see if these were the next, these were the next four. So I guess I would have had to uh, also reveal um, uh, like forget what last turn I could have put on top, but I guess 
Um, I don't know if there was another one of those. I think there was one of these. Okay. But then we look at the top eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Uh, okay. So now we're actually going to have to reveal uh, not four, not five. We're going to have to reveal six next turn. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, this is over there. Four. Okay, this is only seven cards. I should see another one. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to reveal one, two, three, four, five, six, and then after that's done, I'll play out of the wild and kill one of those. Okay. Cool. Uh, now I do think we have some archery. Archery one. I think that's it. Yeah. So, oh, before we go to combat though, I would like to travel to Towers of the Teeth because that's a lot of threat, and we want to don't want that there. Um, okay, so this is next turn. And, okay, so now combat. We do have an archery, which I'll put down here, but I'll heal off one, and I'll heal off two. Okay. All right, and of course, during the encounter phase, what uh, actually, that has to come before the combat phase. Somebody has to play down a uh, advanced warning, so we'll just have uh, who's got some resources to spare. Deck number three. Okay, deck number three will play advanced warning uh, for two. Good. So none of them engage, and we can start the next turn. Okay, yes, I get two bonus resources there. Um, and now player one is here. Let's see what get, what we have. Um, okay. Do we have a... We do not have a way to boost the resources here. Not that we need them right this second. Um, Right. Would like to get some more ethers out. Who's got some? None here. None here. Oh yeah, Bearvor was ready at the end of last round, so I will uh, take two for this deck. And Bilbo right now gives this deck an additional card. Right. Okay. Now who's got an ether? Here we go. Um, so right now I'm going to discard to that. And can we pull it out? We can, because we can spend one on Dwarven Tomb. Um, mm, I'm just thinking, this might be the only deck that can play Galadrim's Greeting right now. Unless this deck has it, and they don't. Where are we at here? Okay. I think I'm probably okay for willpower for one more turn with just this. So I will have this deck play the greeting for the round. One, two, three. One, oops, three. There we go. And... Everyone reduces by one. Good. Okay. Um, what else can we do? We can draw some cards. None return. Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot to have Faramir attack last turn. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, yes, this deck wants to find Leave No Trace. Okay, we've got one. Good. Uh, maybe we should just quest. So, send in everyone here. Um, yeah. Okay. So 
we reveal an additional one. Everyone raises their threat by one. And I should hold that out. We put these six into play, and we've got one revealed. Uh, that's a peril that affects the first player, so not affecting me at all. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Raise your threat. Archery. We got some archery. We could, could use some more healers. Okay, but anyway, um, we had a bunch more threat, but we have 88, so um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42. Oh yeah, we easily complete this, and I'm going to leave no trace it. Um, so it goes in the victory display. That costs us one. And, oh, we also complete gather information. So everyone gets to search their deck for a card. And I'm going to grab... What am I going to grab? I could use a Song of Travel for this deck, for sure. And then this deck could use... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really have more cards than I need. Uh, Out of the wild? Yeah, it doesn't have any. Okay. Um, this deck could use. a. Um, none return. There should be three none returns, right? I really hope there's three none returns. One, two. Where is the third? Did it get discarded at the beginning of the game? Yes, good. Okay. Because there are three Nazgul that we need to use those on. I thought I only revealed six. Tegrius. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oops. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. And then the last deck can search out one of its missing ether swordsmen. Okay. Um, did I shuffle these? I think so. Okay. Now someone's got to play down um, out of the wild. Let's have deck. Uh, does this deck have one? Yeah. Three. One, two, three. And we will grab. What's worse? Doomed one. Each player must choose. Either raise your threat by one for each character you control or just got it. Okay. Yeah, that's probably bad. So we will out of the wild that and then shuffle. I'm not even going to look at the other top ones. Just in the interest of time. And this also gets added to the victory display. Cool. That's a new errata. Um, and... Okay, now how much archery do we have? I should clump all the archers together. Archery one. Uh, I thought we had more than that. Archery... There's someone with archery too, right? Or was he the last guy to be revealed? Okay, archery one. Cool. Well, we just heal that off. Well, first we play... Um, Advanced warning for two. Uh, good meal that. And they don't engage. Um, what was this from? Is that someone searching out? What was this from? Is his discard pile or something? Does anyone remember why this guy is floating there? That would be really helpful if you did. Okay. Because I do not remember that. Okay, alright. Checklist, we played our... Um, played Galadrim's Greeting, played 
uh, our um, what else did we play? Oh yes, we played Advanced Warning, so we're good for combat. We heal uh, the damage from archery, and we can start the new round after Bear of Warring. Oops. This should be accidentally drawn. Okay, here. Uh, two cards. There we go. Cool. Um, I discarded him from Protector, so it's in this player's discard pile so I could I can bring him back and stand and fight at some point okay good good to know okay starting the new round okay got another message from Elrond here uh, two additional and okay uh, now player one is over here now this is going to be a tricky turn because I don't actually know everything that's coming out of the deck this time. Um, however, uh, it's free to play Kina's Lances now, so I'm going to do that. Add two resources, add two resources, play down another ether and another ether. Good. And any other side quest to put down? Nope. Okay, uh, all right, this player now, we will have him play down the Song of Travel. Uh, okay, and now we've played the greeting for the round, reduce our threat by one. Okay, we got this player now who can spend some time playing Resourcefuls. One, two, three, four, and oh, can also pass a stand and fight over here so that this player can bring this one in down into play. All right, that's done. Um, okay, I think we got enough willpower. Hmm. Oh, does anyone have... Uh, another song of travel? No. Okay. Hmm. Oh, man, I forgot to attack with Faramir again. Sheesh. Okay. He should really be killing these uh, Nazgul. Because I got to get them into the victor display soon. How how strong is he? Uh, let's see. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's at plus twelve. Um, how do I add more attack here? thought I was doing it right. No? Oh. No. Twelve. He can attack for fourteen. Actually, that would have killed the Nazgul outright, so I'm just going to say, just in the interest of time here, because this is a long thing, I'm just going to say he did that last round, and that this is, it. This is out here. Um... Okay, because they had the resources to do that. Okay. Well, I'm committing, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, 11. Uh, so that's 11 times 12. Uh, so that's 134, 132. Um, and okay, so that's it, we're gonna win. So I'm just gonna have to add one here and reveal four. We're gonna reveal seven cards and just deal with uh, what we have to deal with. 
there's 22 cards left in there. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? Beforehand, let me play... I know I'm not strictly observing order of play here, but it's kind of hard to do when you're just one player controlling everything. We're going to do another healer. And can we get down a healer here? Yeah, we can. Another healer here. Just for lots of heals. Okay. Cool. Um, Alright, seven cards. Let me move these over here. They're just basically a ball of threat. That's an archer. That's a threat thing. That's a threat thing. These are threat things. I guess technically, no, I'm not. He's not really going to do anything. Um, okay. Seven cards. We got one. All the locations here don't really do much until they're active. Um, so I'm, I mostly ignore them because it's just threat. Two, deal one damage to a questing character you control. That's peril. Yeah. Um, so that's this guy. He's not questing. Okay. Three. Oh, cool. Range Sentinel. First player must choose either take control of Gwei here and or spend one resource to discard Gwei here to discard a non-unique enemy in the staging area. I don't really care about that. Um... Okay, yeah, we'll just take control of them. I don't see why not. Cool. Um, how many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, here, this is what I'm worried about. When revealed, either searching counter deck, discard pile, and victory display for a Nazgul enemy and add it to the staging area, or attach Hellhawk to a Nazgul enemy in play. So I am going to search the deck for Nazgul because it makes it immune to player card effects I think yeah so he would become immune to um, uh, he basically become immune to my advanced warning and he'd engage me so that's no good um, so let's put down let's grab where is it oh I think it did it leave as a shadow or something there's supposed to be three. Yeah, here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Deal one damage to questing character. I'll deal one damage to him. And they're going to get healed. Uh, six and seven. Okay. Uh, each player deals one damage to a questing character controls until the end of the phase. Each damage character gets minus one willpower and cannot be healed. Oh, okay, so I actually can't heal these guys. So I'm um, just going to deal, let's see, these three are damaged, and I lose a little bit of willpower, but not anywhere near the amount I would need to make this an issue. Okay. Um, actually, let me see. Yeah, so I can't even heal the guys that get damaged from archery. So... That's a little bit of a issue, but that's, that's all right. So we complete gather information, and the important thing to, for me to grab is um, where is it? Another oh shoot, it's oh, okay. You know what I have to do? Mm, I guess I can wait. I need to kill. Is there another Nazgul in here somewhere? Yeah, there is. Okay, let's keep that guy up there too. Uh, I guess I should find here. Okay, so this is what we have to do before resolving the quest. I am going to have somebody play Will of the West on me so that none return is back in here. Uh, yeah, so take control here. Can I take control of this? Yeah. There we go. 
So now that none return is back in there, I can grab it when this resolves. There we go. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, now, do the other players want to grab anything? Um, sure. I don't think it's super important what they take here. But uh, let's get some um, out of the wilds ready to go. Um, should probably pull out some more advanced warnings too, because I use those every time, every turn. Oh shoot, this uh, this deck already already grabbed something. All right, that's why the deck was so big. We reshuffled it. Uh, we can scout. We can grab a scout ahead. I guess it should be in my hand. Um, and then this deck can grab gather. Okay. Um, good. Good. Okay. Archery. We've got. Uh, sorry. First advance warning. Uh, spend two. They don't engage. Now we've got archeries. One, two, three, four, five. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five. And of course we can't heal um, because of that treachery. Okay, Faramir attacks and kills this Nazgul and plays uh, none return on that one to get that out of the deck. Boom. Gone. Okay, because we really don't want that uh, treachery to make these guys immune to uh, card effects because that then we'd have to figure out a way to defend it and uh, it wouldn't be pretty. Right? Okay. Um... Now, let me see here. I think I'm good to go for the next round. So let's start the next round. Oh, two cards from Barivor, right. Um, let's grab two. Okay, let's play down our side quests. We got one there. Um, again, order does matter, but not for this. Side quest, side quest, get it. Okay, I feel like uh, Octagon slowing down because of all the cards I got on the table, so I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna know that I have five cards in the victory display now. Resourcefuls, good. Um, who is going to play the uh, breeding this round? This deck can, one, two, three. So we have that. Good. Um, now, oh, first four. Okay, thanks, uh, Tegrius. So the first four have to be on the first player. Well, that is the first player. So, um, okay, that should be right. Okay. Um, you might be hearing my son in the background. He's uh, up from his nap now. Um, okay. So, I think I just want to get to the end game here. What do we got left in terms of the encounter deck? We got 14 cards there, 6 cards there. Okay. Um, so that's played. We commit, uh, first let's heal. Uh, six different characters, two damage. So one, two, one, two, one, that's three, four, five, six, cool. Um, we can probably get more healers out here. Yep, one and two. Um, we can get, Mm, this is this is in the victory display as well. Okay. 
So actually, at this point, I have more willpower on the table here with these allies. Um, should one should one of these guys have one more damage? Okay. Well, um, the these guys heal two damage when they heal, so um, that should be gone. Okay. Two here. So I have, I think, at this point, I've counted the encounter deck, and with the state that it's in now, I think that uh, even if I put the whole encounter deck on the table, I'd have more willpower than it. So I'm not even going to be bothering to count anymore. Um, especially with one of those uh, um, X threat locations already in the victory display, I can't get I can't get two of those on the table. So um, at this point, every turn I'm just gonna try to play this, and then an advance warning, um, and then we're gonna see about the encounter deck uh, running out soon. Okay, so now we've got to reveal five, eight cards. Let's put a cram down. I don't know, I might have to do something weird, just in case. Okay. Um, and we're going to go to scout ahead. Now my, my worry is if we get the uh, that card that attaches to the Nazgul, then he becomes immune. I'm going to have to deal with that another way. Uh, I guess he, it'll just come down. I mean, we're not at 66 yet, but might as well deal with it. Uh, he'll be at 8 attack. I guess I can just defend with Gwei here. The only problem is that after he attacks, either raise your threat by 4 or return him to the staging area. So someone's going to raise their threat by 4. Okay. Um, we're going to... Anyway, we're going to reveal our 8 now. So 1, okay. So, I didn't want to see this, uh, I guess, <laughs> in hindsight, that would have been smart. Um, there's no reason not to be using him. So, I can search. You know, technically, I think the way the rules work is I can search for the encounter deck and not have to attach it to a Nazgul enemy. Because... I'm fulfilling the search part. However, you know, um, I'm not totally sure about that, so uh, I guess we just do that. Meh. I wanted to avoid that, but one, um, two. Okay, these are more threat things here. So actually, these threat things don't really do anything. So to clean up the table, I think I'm going to put them. Where am I going to put them? I'll leave them there for now. OK. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Each player assigns X damage among characters and controls where X is the number of tokens on the black gate, that's five. Um, yeah, I want to get rid of those, too. So five damage everywhere. Okay, our healers are going to have quite a bit of work to do. One, two, um, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Three, four, I guess. Um, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, three, four. Five, okay. That's fine. Um, cool. So that's uh, one. I should be keeping track. One, two, three, four. Um, we need eight, right? Five, six, uh, archer. 
seven, eight. Okay, archer. Lots of archers. Okay. We were successful. We complete a scout ahead and take a look at the top eight here. In the There's only five left. Left. Let's take a look at all of them, and we will pull out uh, Jaws of Steel and add that to the victory display. And we will also... Okay, good. I know there's two in there. So what I can do is right now play two out of the wilds. Uh, this is deck one. So we will play one here. One, two, three. And get rid of that one. And then I will play... Okay, do we got one here? Yes. Uh, one... Two, three. Uh, get rid of this one as well. Cool. Okay. Now, hmm. Uh, that's a shadow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So those are the last two in the deck. That's fine. And these are gone. Lots of damage. I'm gonna start needing. To, uh, I'm gonna need to start healing. Um, for the travel phase, um, now I guess I'll go to the X thing, um, just to get rid of that as well. Oh yeah, of course, everyone's questing. Uh, four hands, um, JNR. Uh, yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing here, trying to keep track of everything. Um, but basically, so this guy, I guess he stays up there until I hit 66, I'm at, I'm actually at 53. Um, actually, I should have raised my threat, I think, for that. Um, do I want to deal with him now? If I kill him, this goes in the discard pile. It's going to come out again. Uh, it won't do anything, though. Hmm. Okay. Because all the Nazgul will be there. Yeah, just for fun. Let's deal with him. So, he'll come down. I know there's not going to be a bad shadow effect. So, what I could do is I could try... Let's see, he's at 8. I'm at 4 defense. Mm, I probably should have searched out more defense for him. And then I could have survived it. Uh, maybe I'll deal with him next turn, actually. Because then I can plan out his shadow effect, and then I won't lose anyone. Uh, okay. Alright. So, someone has to play Advanced Warning. So we will have this deck do that. Good. And that's it. Start the new round. Oh, I guess we get two cards here. Um, who wants them? I guess I'll draw them from here. Okay, I've been forgetting Bilbo a lot. Um... Hmm. No, no. The latest one. Well, the latest packs are on Octagon. Just the text, though. Uh, the images take six months. And yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, because of this thing, it makes him immune, and I can't uh, just do that. Uh, unfortunately, that's why I wanted to avoid that. And even though the rules a bit uncertain, I'm fine playing it the hard way. Um, like I think I should just be able to search the deck and not find one. So, anyway. Uh, let's start the new turn. And, okay, two resources there. Uh, another resource there. Um, let's get some resources on this guy. Uh, okay. This should be there now. Yep. Uh, okay. We need more healers. Hmm. have anymore. 
more healers, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to get about to get hit by a bunch of treacheries. That's what I'm worried about, because this is going to reshuffle. Yeah, that's about to reshuffle. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to have to reveal 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, hey. Um, we're going to need to take on all of these. So I need to th think of a plan for that. Uh, how am I going to deal with okay, everything coming out here? Hmm. Eventually, I'd like to get rid of all these treacheries. But I feel like I'm going to have to weather them a few times first. I'm not sure if I can. Each player, it's... Uh, that's kind of annoying. That's not annoying. That's not annoying. Um, each player must choose. Raise your threat by one for each character you control. I just got that. That one's annoying. Um, this guy it will make the mouth of Sauron attack, but I'm a, I'm cool with that because I can take that. But let's see. Uh, there's two left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it'll all reshuffle, and then reveal one more. At that point, I can play a bunch of Out of the Wilds which might be worth doing, right? Um, got one here. Two, three, four, five. OK. Hmm. So if I survive just one time going through here, oh sorry, um, Athra. So my threat's not actually my threat's actually at 54. Um, it's just when you're at 50, Octagon thinks you've lost and messes with the automation. So by four, I mean 54, and that means this deck here is at 53, 53, and this one is um, six behind. So it's at 48. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't do the archery here, did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, eh? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I need a bunch of things right now. I need healers, and I need, um, okay, I need Out of the Wilds ready to go. So let me just play all the cards now. Uh, I'm, maybe I need to draw. Let's see what I can get with three cards here. One, two, three. That didn't help. Um, someone has to play the greeting, of course. Um, we can have the deck, this deck do that. One, two, three. And that will um, reduce everyone's threat by one. And, okay. Should try to heal up. One, two, one, two, three. Um, I'm gonna have to deal a bunch of damage to my guys. Just to recap, this thing is going to assign well six damage to. Characters. Each player is going to have to take six. Ouch. Okay. 
so that would kill some of my guys. Um, I'll hawk. Uh, deal one. That's fine. So that's fine. That's fine. Raise your threat by one. Okay. Discard the highest cost ally. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I only get one. And then... That's fine. That's fine. Damaged characters. As long as I keep my Aether Swordsman healthy, they won't really be affected by this. So I just really like to avoid getting hit by this thing twice. Which, odds are I will be hit by twice. I was just saying. Just because that's the one I don't want to be sh uh, hit by twice. Okay. Alright. Uh, Heal one, two, three, four. Heal one, two, uh, three, four. Heal one, two, three, four. Heal one, two. Two, three, four. Okay, we can ready somebody, I guess. Um, one, two, just for a bit more healing. One, two. Um, first player's here. You see, if I get hit by that twice. Uh, Four. That's like 12 damage that each player has to deal among characters he controls. Which is kind of insane. Um, it would kill... Unfortunately, the way that turned out is... I am going to have to add a resource token there. In real six, seven, eight, nine cards. So that'll be two here, and then seven. I'll reshuffle, and then have to deal out seven. Uh... Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then everything. Okay, this actually works out well because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this entire discard pile and it'll immediately shuffle. So I'm not gonna have to deal with anything twice. Just everything once. Uh, okay, and then we can just try to spam as many out of the wilds as we can. So let's do it. Okay, we commit our willpower. Boom. And let's take on the treacheries. Okay, we add one here, raise our threat by one. And boom, card number one. I knew these were going to be locations. Yep. And then we've got uh, to deal with um, one, two. Now this whole thing should be reshuffled. Yeah, so we need to deal with all seven here. One. Now, can is this limit one? Yeah, limit one per enemy. So that does nothing because uh, there's no more Nazgul. One. Okay. Everything here. Another enemy. This thing. Each player deals one damage to a questing character he controls. Well, um, these guys didn't quest, so all I've got to deal is one damage there. So I just lose one willpower. And next, okay. Now the Mouth of Sauron makes an attack. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That'll be one extra card that I'll have to deal with a second time. Because I didn't account for this shadow card here. It, with any luck, it's the one I really don't want to deal with. So, uh, what is this one? Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's two damage. Uh, which attachment? I guess I get rid of the cram. And okay. All right. I guess Bomber could have defended that. Um, but that's fine. So we keep going. Another damage. It's fine. Actually, I can put them both here, I think. 
because they've got three hit points. Yep. Okay. Boom. Uh, here we go. So each player assigns six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, uh, three, four. Uh, I guess we'll just do this. I'll lose a bit more willpower, but not any willpower that I don't have. Any, not any willpower that I need. Okay. Um, now, yeah, okay. Keep going. This thing. Um, doomed one. And that, uh, each player must choose to either raise your threat by one for each character you control or just grab the highest cost ally you control. Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to be raising threat here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I go up one, two, three, four, five. He goes up six. So he's actually at plus one compared to me. Um, then he goes up three. So how do I keep track of this? Um, he's at he's at plus one compared to me. He's at minus. He's at one, two, three, four, five. He was at minus one, so now he's at minus six to me, compared to me. And he was at he was at minus six. He's going to discard an ally. Still, plenty of willpower. Um, in fact, uh, I'm just going to pay one to bring back a standard fight and bring him back out of my discard pile, whichever discard pile that was. Here. Put him back. Put him back in. He's not questing, but he's still buffing everyone else. So, um, okay. Done. And so he's at actually. Uh, he was at minus six, so he's at now minus one, two, three. He's minus eleven compared to me. So I'm using this. This is plus one threat compared to deck one. This is minus six threat compared to deck one, minus 11 threat. Okay, we keep marching through these things. Each player does one damage to questing character. Okay. Yep, and we got another one. Okay, I'm going to need to heal after this. Ooh, okay. Uh, another Mouth of Sauron attack, which player is this? Oh, whoops, sorry, this should be here. Good eye. Okay, uh, thanks, Ecthelion. Um I guess this is when we reshuffled, right? We already dealt with this. Something's weird here. There's two in the victory display, I know that. Yeah, and there should be only a third one there. How did the deck work? So we already had that attack. So this should not be in the reshuffled version. It should be there. We should deal this card out, which does nothing. And then, by my calculations, we should have to reveal one more. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, six damage. Okay. Did I count that right? Let me see. Um, we had uh, six, seven. It should only be nine cards. One, two. Um, what? Let me just make sure before I resolve this that I'm doing this right. Five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine. One. Two, three. This thing, why did that show up? Did it reshuffle without me knowing? One, two. It wasn't the third card. Not exactly sure what happened there. I don't know if I should reveal anymore. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six here, seven, eight. These two were in there. There are two there. Six. There were two in the discard, right? Seven in the discard. These two were in the deck. Oh, yeah, this is confusing. Um... Hmm. I don't know if anyone's following what's going on here, but um, I'm trying to figure out how many I revealed because I lost track. two in the deck were locations, or what? It wasn't that one, because there was one in the discard pile to begin with, and then two I put in the victory display. Uh, okay, I think... Yeah, I think this is just fine. Yeah, it's... It's confusing, but I think actually what I wanted to do was during the attack, what, yeah, so what I should have done here is during that attack, um, so let me, let me see. So these got reshuffled in, and actually the first card out was, the first card I revealed, I believe, was... Was it this one or this one? Because when this came out, I guess I'm going back a bit, but when that came out um, and I had Urkenbrand defend, let's see, where was that? Was that before? Rage filled him. No, Grant. Yeah. Damage, damage. Okay. Something must have happened where the shadow card came out and, and this reshuffled it. However, Urkenbrand came out, defended that attack, so what came after that? Um, ah, okay, it was the Jaws of Steel that came after. So what we what we c can do here is before before we reveal this so this is just we haven't revealed anything here so we take out back the six damage one two three four five six one two three four five six one one two three four five six one two three four uh, five I'm not sure if this is exactly right but um, because this opens an action window and the encounter deck has been reshuffled, we can actually, before resolving the defense of this attack, we can play our Out of the Wilds. So um, we can do the one, two, three. Um, this way it guarantees us we don't get hit by that thing twice. So, um, okay. Since there's only five cards left, we pull that out into the victory display. And um, I guess I already, already resolved that one. But um, 
let's play the other copies that we can. Um, so this one, two, three, and that will re remove uh, this. And then ideally we could just get rid of those two. Um, this is discarded. All right, okay. Yeah. Uh, however, if we do this, then we keep having to reveal rage filled him, which is problematic, right? Um, because it'll keep recycling through the deck. So, um, maybe we just do that, and that way it won't hit us too many times. Um, right. Four. Okay. So I've already dealt some damage there, but so that's that's resolved. Then that was one, two, that was three, uh, four, five, six. I already done these six. Uh, no, then they all get reshuffled. Seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so another couple damage. So I didn't ever, ever actually lose that uh, ether swordsman. Um, so I can take back my uh, this thing. Uh, can I take back control of this? Okay, that's done. Um, we survived, and now there's very little um, damage left. Yes, we need to advance to warning this round still. Um, let's see what the counter deck situation is like. There's one left. Uh, I will play uh, out of the wild on it. One, two, three. And remove it. There we go. Oh, victory display, of course. Okay. All uh, right. Now. Good, 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 good. Okay. And I guess since I do that in the quest phase, these get moved back in. Since any time during the quest phase that the encounter deck is empty, you have to reshuffle. So I will play another out of the wild. Assuming I can still play Advanced Warning, just making sure. Uh, deck 3, does Deck 3 have one? Nope. Deck 4 has one. Um, okay. So I've got to wait. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Um... So, let's see, I guess I will have player four just play the advance warning this round. Oh, this is gone, of course, so player three places leave no trace um, to get that out for good as well. There we go. Uh, oh, I guess we should just double check to make sure we did have enough. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These guys are all at twelve willpower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, these guys are only at ten willpower because of those treacheries. But basically, um, nine times twelve, um, hundred, uh, hundred twenty. Yeah. 108, um, 20 plus 10, 
something like 130 there, not counting those guys. And we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, uh, thirty-two, uh, thirty-seven, forty, forty-three, forty-five, uh, six, uh, forty-seven, forty-eight. 9, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 8, uh, plus 6, May, we're in the 80s, and so like I've easily quested over 120 there, so um, we're good. That's uh, definitely enough to complete the uh, scout ahead, which is what we were going for. Um, so we can take a look at the encounter deck here, okay. look at all the cards, and we will remove one of these things into the victory display. Only two left, only two treacheries left. And this one doesn't do anything when there are no Nazgul left. So. Okay. Good. And I did play my um, advance warning this turn, so none of them engage. Um, we'll deal with the Nazgul next round, I think. We need to heal up. Okay. So let's heal. Uh, let's ready. Start the next turn. Two resources there, one there. He moves there. Um. Okay. Uh, let's heal up. Oh shoot, I forgot archery. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's nine archery here. Yeah. Um, so one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine. Okay, so I'll heal up two and two. I'll heal. Uh, oh, and I'll ready. I'll ready him. And I'll heal uh, two and two. Healing two and two. Okay. We really have nothing to worry about anymore because um, we know the last two cards in the encounter deck and what they do. So, um, actually, deck one can get rid of one of them here. So that'll be one, two, three, um, and look at all cards. This one. That thing does nothing, so there's no point in removing it. I guess this is technically in the victory display. Okay. Um, so we're going to be revealing a bunch of cards this turn, but it's just going to be Hellhawk over and over and over and over and over. So there's going to be no more threat. All we have to do now is keep up with the archery damage. And eventually when we do get to 66 threat, I'm at 63 right now, we will have to deal with that guy. Um, let's get down good meal and oh yeah Bearvor Bearvor didn't exhaust last turn okay let me take two then oh and and uh, Bilbo uh, is targeting this player this round cool I'll discard that draw three draw 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 and should I draw more? Um, I would like to, okay, let's hold off. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, we've played this for the turn. And so our threat goes down by one. And someone's got advanced warning. Yes, and we can play it. Good. Okay, wow. Um, 
So we are almost at the point where, well, we are pretty much at the point where um, nothing can hurt us. Uh, but I would like to, oh, this is gone, right? I would like to get a little more defense on Urkenbrand before dealing with him. So um, I guess I know that the shadow effect does nothing. So it's just going to be eight attack on four. Actually, that's too much. Okay, Barivor. How about Barivor draws two cards here? Hmm, doesn't help. I mean, gather information helps. Okay. Uh, let's quest. Boom. Uh, we put a token down here. We're at seven. Our threat goes up by one. We're at f 63. And um, we reveal 10 cards, but it is just this card 10 times in a row. So it does nothing. Okay, we can start the next round and yeah, starting a new round. So two resources here, one resource there, um, Bilbo, now draws a card for this player. Oh, actually, I haven't been drawing. You know, I haven't been drawing um, for each player every time a new, I do a new turn. And I didn't realize that just because there's so many cards already. Every time um, I do a new turn, I haven't been drawing for player 2, 3, or 4. Oh, yeah, archery. Thanks. Um, oh, and advance warning. Oops. Okay, my advance warning was um, here uh, last round. Forgot that. And archery, uh, how much? One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, well, we'll put it somewhere and just heal two, four, six, eight, nine, ten at the beginning of this turn. So wherever I put it, it's healed. Uh, okay. And I guess this player can discard another ether that he drew. And this player can, one, two, draw, pay one for the standard fight, and pay two more to bring him in. OK. Uh, and he will play. One, two, three. He will play the greeting that round. Good. Okay. Um, now what? Uh, we're going to deal with the Nazgul this round? I think so. Uh, Faramir is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus 18. Okay, so we'll just have Urkenbrand defend because now we have an additional defense point here. Yep. Cool. Um, so we place one po uh, token, raise our threat by one, and reveal this thing uh, 11 times. And then we, we uh, encounter, someone's got to play advance warning. Here we go. Deck two will do it. One, two. And combat. We have uh, one, six, seven, eight, nine damage, right? I'll heal four of those damage, so five more. Um, one, two, three, four, and um, five. Okay. Uh, cool. So we'll engage. Deal a shadow for him. Um, there's no cards left in the counter deck. There should be. Okay, so the shadow is just one of these. Urkenbrand defends. He's got 
three, four, five defense. He's got six, seven, eight attack. So that's three damage. And then Faramir attacks for 18, 19, 20, which is enough to kill him. And we will uh, put him in the victory display. Boom. None return. Good. And this goes back in the encounter deck, but again, it does nothing anymore. Victory. Oh. Okay. I guess we completed gather information as well. Um, I think... Uh, Should be in the victory display. Cool. Okay. Uh, we did advance warning, did, uh, did all that. I don't even want to bother going through all my decks at this point and grabbing stuff, but I should. We've got anything useful? Meh. Uh, I guess we need to keep up with the greetings. can't even search my deck anymore. Octagon doesn't want to. Um, we need advanced warnings. Bearvor can draw me a few. And here I can grab something. Uh, doesn't even, I don't even know what the point is here, but there we go. Okay, now we can start a new round. Two resources there, two here, one there. Uh, we will play one, two, three. Our threat reduction for the round, and we will. Um, so threat reduction's done. Um, I guess I can play resourceful here with my leftover resources. One, two, three, four. Um, this deck will draw three cards. Play down another resourceful for one, two, three, four. Cool. And we will heal up. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to heal four. Of course, yeah. So we quest. Ta da. Um, just reveal these over and over again. Sorry, I gotta put place a token there, raise our threat by one. And alright, so we have archery nine, so we'll cancel two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we actually get to heal up three, two, um, three. Cool. And uh someone needs to play advanced warning. So Advance warning, advance warning. Oh yes, we complete gather information, of course. Um, this is deck three playing it. And cool, uh, so now we get to search all our decks again. And I forgot to draw a card for him at the beginning of the round uh, and for him. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever's on the top for my gather information. Take one for the round, one from the top, and um, one from the round, one from the top. Okay. Uh, new round. Uh, 
All right, so we got to resolve. Uh, we got two here. Oh, you know what? I forgot uh, when I defended that um, Nazgul. You need to raise your threat by four or return him to the staging area. So uh, this guy is no longer uh, 11 behind. He's only seven behind. Okay. So this deck's at 50 plus 16, so 66. This deck is still 11 behind that. So we're in a good situation here. And... Um, I mean, we're just questing successfully every time. We're healing off all the archery damage. So um, all that we're really worried about is just continuing to play threat reduction and advance warning every turn. So uh, on this turn, it'll be this deck, one, two, three, that plays it. And we'll go down one. And... Um, Advanced warning for the turn. Who can do that? Okay, we got an advanced warning here. Two. Good. Okay. Start a new turn. I mean, I heal. I'll just exhaust my healers, and they heal the archery every turn, plus three. So, one, two, three. Uh, yep. <laughs> and great, we got uh, another round. Plus two cards from Barivor. So as you can see, we just repeat this uh, every round. Okay, uh, yes, so we finally got our 10th, like it was our plan, and looks like we can um, heal, okay, uh, threat reduction for the round, here's our advanced warning for the round, and where's our threat reduction at? Mm-hmm, uh... Do we have any? No, it doesn't look like anyone's got threat reduction left. Bear of can draw someone a couple cards. Can't really keep track of who's, uh... Okay, here we go. Cool. Threat reduction. Now this just cancels the one from that. So uh, as a way of speeding it up, I'm just going to um, each round, I'll just play this there and add a token, reduce threat, and then gain threat. So nothing happens there. And then uh, we advance warning again. Uh, looks like we're out of advance warnings, though. So someone's going to just have to play a scroll. Um, so we play one for the scroll, and then two for the advance warning. You should have three more. You should have two more. And then we pull that out from here, back to the bottom of our deck. Okay, so that's resolved. New turn. Okay, draw uh, two with Barivor. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. And... Uh, which deck is this? Three? Okay, it's a little bit lower on the resource side of things. Um, but he can do this for the round, so we'll put a token on there, 
and pay for three for that. Okay. Advanced warning. I think this deck has it again. Yes, he does. Two for that. Okay, new round. Of course, I'm healing extra above and beyond the archery, so I should be at this at this point. Fully healed. Um, yeah, so at this point, it's tough to project the situation because we... So we can keep playing a scroll, and every scroll is going to get us an additional two advanced warnings, right? Because it counts as an advanced warning itself, and then um, it uh, shuffles back to the bottom of your deck, and then you draw it again and play it. And uh, to fuel the card draw, I, I think I have more than I need, but I actually have this Elven Light. So Elven Light and Protector of Lorien, you can just spend one resource to draw one card three times a phase. So you're never really in a card shortage situation. You can keep drawing that card back up the top of your deck. So um, the real tricky part is that these the, the greetings are a bit harder to refresh. So uh, every time you play one, um, it's not easy, as easy to recur with the scroll. Well, you can't. So you have got to re recur it with Will of the West. Um, so let's say that that's the limiting factor. So, um, like we could play, we could play uh, an advanced warning whenever we need to, and it's just a matter of running out of the greetings. So it looks like we, our threat goes up one every round because we play a greeting every round, and then cancels out the threat from that, but we also raise our threat by one from the end of the round, like the normal refresh phase. So our threat keeps ticking up one every round, as long as we can keep playing greetings. So let's count how many greetings we have left. Uh, we've got one here, and we've got uh, one in there, so two. And look at all cards here. None left in there. And the last deck has how many in it? Probably none. None. OK, so two left. Hey, thanks, Tegrius. I'm glad you. Uh, have been enjoying the, the podcast. Um, so two left there. So a threat goes up. Two more by playing those. Get two more. Again, we're assuming that the that the uh, advanced warnings are just easy to play um, with all the resources that we have. Okay, so now Will of the West comes in, and we've got three in each deck. So we can recycle each deck three times. So this is going to allow us, to, every time we play one, um, every time we play Will of the West, we're going to get three more plays out of Greeting. So each Will of the West counts as three Greetings, and we've got 12. So um, 12 times 3 is 36. So we can play Greeting 36 times. Um, this will be, uh, let's see. Uh, 50s. Yes. Oh, this will actually thread us out, I think. Right. So we're at almost 70 right now. So we can go. We have enough to go all the way up by one till the end. So um, let's let's do another. Tw How many greetings do we need? We need 30 greetings, right? Uh, to bring us up to uh, 49. Oh no, that's threading out. So, 20 because you thread out at 99 in this quest, not 100. So let's go up to 48 from 19. That's 29 more greetings. So 
29 more. And that'll do uh, 29 plus 14 is um, 30, 43, 43 rounds. Uh, okay, this is why you really want to avoid playing too much uh, of those doomed cards in the beginning, because every threat counts as a round you could last in the end. Okay, now the last final trick is with this. So if we wait to... So we, we have these three decks thread out, right, first. But this guy is still seven threat behind this guy. And so since we've only played 29 of our uh, greetings, we can still play seven more. So this guy can still last seven rounds. However, uh, assuming uh, you wait, you you keep this guy in last, and he plays the um, he plays the uh, um, he plays the greetings and the will of the west, like he saves his own to last. So let's do that. So these guys all get eliminated, like so, at the end of this round. However, this deck this deck is still alive and well actually in the combat phase before the end of this round, I'm gonna assign the two let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine archery, uh five here, four there, like so, killing off these two heroes. And we just have Pippin left and Aragorn, of course. Um, now, Pippin is actually the only lore hero. So this deck also runs... Actually, I think I made a mistake before. He couldn't have been playing these yet. Um, you would have needed to rely on other decks. Of course, I had plenty of options to... Um, to play them with other decks because I never even touched my scrolls. So that was just a mistake, but it doesn't really affect the outcome. Um, so, but now that Pippin's the last hero, apart from the Fellowship hero, which the developers have said you can ignore if you want for the purposes of these kind of cards, um, he can play this now that the other heroes are dead because he only has lower heroes left. So he can last... Uh, by building up his own resources over the course of the game and holding on to his own Will of the Wests and Greetings. He can play Greeting um, seven more times and um, he can play Advanced Warning seven more times, shuffling his uh, encounter deck. Um, do your, does, your, does my questing become an issue at that point? No, because... Uh, oh, you mean because now this thing's at 50? No, it... Uh, it doesn't because there's still more. Let's see how many I have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have all 12 out. Um, so this is 140. Uh, this is, wait, 13 times 12. So this is 156 uh, uh, plus 24 more. So 180. Wait, is it 56, 60? Yeah, 180 here. And uh, so even though this is at 50, the questing is not an issue, even though that that 50 that threat location is sitting there. So I can play... So basically, with all these resources here, I would have, ha I would have one of the other decks play um, Protector of Lorien on it, and he could fuel uh, his own card draw with Elven Light because um, there were some Protector Valorians in the other deck that hadn't been played yet. So he has endless draw, essentially. By the by the time we get to this round, he has endless resources. He just keeps recycling his deck, playing Greeting and Advanced Warning, and lasts seven more rounds to bring this up to 50. And then, finally, uh, with Pippin standing alone against the... the uh, Armies of the Black Gate finally falls at round 50 
um, due to threat. Sauron finally stomps him. And yeah, that's how you could get to 50 rounds in the Black Gate. Uh, I realized that <laughs> went on uh, way longer than I thought it would. Um, just because of like the craziness of having all these cards in play at the same time. So uh, Ally Elfhelm would have stopped the threat. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Like if I had just thrown a one of in here... Uh, Chad, uh, I wouldn't have had to, it wouldn't have helped earlier in the game because like the greeting it subtracts one threat from everyone but at this point in the game if you just had an elf helm out it would cancel this threat every turn um, and you wouldn't have to worry about about that you'd still go up by one every turn though because you can only reduce by one every turn and there's the end of the round threat so you still would have just lasted seven rounds and still only been able to make it to 50. Whew, wow, that was exhausting. Um, but I'm glad the decks ended up working together in the end. Um, yeah, it took a lot of careful planning about what, what was in the encounter deck and getting rid of those certain treachery cards that can really uh, put an end to your attempt. Um, so thanks, thanks to 12 out of the wilds and the uh, four uh, scout aheads, we got all the tr all the treacheries. Um, we essentially got we removed the encounter deck from the encounter deck. No, we put the encounter deck on the table, um, and yeah. So hopefully your partners can get to Mount Doom in 50 rounds. Um, that's a whole other story that we can look at another time. <laughs> yeah, um, I think definitely the ability to play deep knowledges like uh, 12 times on the first turn uh, really made this ridiculous. Like, it made our setup, we, we already had like six ether swordsmen out uh, <laughs> at the beginning of the game under control of one player. So, yeah. Thanks guys for watching and for uh chatting in the Twitch chat. I liked having that uh going on during the game. Um so yeah, thanks uh Finn Barfin and Chad and Steinwill. Thanks Tegrius, Bayorn if you're still there, Kthelian, Othra, JNR Gaming. Um Yep, you guys are awesome. Uh Good game. Enjoy the rest of your day. And happy questing.